mankind stands on the brink of its greatest ever adventure, a mission to colonise the planet Mars. The prospect of humankind becoming a space-faring species is something out of science fiction, but every day it draws closer to reality. But building a new civilization 400 million kilometres from Earth means facing up to monumental challenges. There's a lot of cosmic radiation. They're really, really strong. They will kill you instantly. How do we live in this hostile environment that's completely different to what we've known? For young innovators at two Australian universities, taking the first steps on this epic journey means imagining a new future for humanity. We don't know how to design on Mars. There isn't any precedent for it. It could be anything. The opportunities are limitless. In Melbourne, a team of engineers, designers and computer specialists at RMIT University have joined forces to enter a global competition. The challenge for this new generation of game changers? To create a blueprint for life on Mars, powered by HP technology. So the competition is, what's a city going to be like on Mars, populated by a million people? Currently, we've got around 70,000 participants worldwide. Over six months, the team will combine their skills to develop the ideas and computer models that will go forward into the competition finals. I'm a systems engineer and industrial designer. Landscape architecture. Aerospace engineering. Industrial design. Bachelor of architecture. Advanced manufacturing and mechatronics. We are a very, very diverse bunch. I'm in charge of anything mathematical. I'll crunch the numbers to see if it's practical. He's a great leader. It's very interesting to see him as a polar opposite to say, Will, with all of his amazing ideas. We tend to approach a problem with mathematical solutions. And my job is to convert these numbers into things that that people could relate to. Donna has a lot of initiative and she makes things happen. Donna is really good around people. Yeah, so, so where you're thinking of is here. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Bonnie, she really takes that unique cultural perspective. Usually when you think about ethics and ecology, it's about life, plants and animals, but then Mars is a rock, but we still kind of have the sense that we don't want to damage it. Peter, he's just a computer wizard. Sometimes I really want to give up everything and just go to Mars and just be a painter, like a first Martian <laughs> painter or something. You can tell him something, he'll create it in front of your eyes. You can see and actually imagine yourself in there, which is very, very fascinating. With me, she is far more creative than she knows. She thinks outside the box. Imagining something that's not even exist. People working together to create just a glimpse of some beautiful future just beyond our fingertips. With just six months to realise their visions, the team face a remarkable journey on Earth and potentially beyond. We need to think about all of the different aspects of a city, the schools, transport. I mean, the transportation don't have to be a grid. I'm not driveways. I was thinking these hyperloops. It's a bit of a long trip to the grocery store if you want to go back to Earth. Is it even possible? Is this the future I want? Is this a city that I want my grandson or grand-grandson be living in?